if you are beginner then this video is going to be very helpful to you because today i will explain how we can set control values on a button click in a power apps app so i have built a app from the scratch itself uh, and in that i will show you three things how we can set a text box control value on a button click and there i will show you how we can uh, display the logged in user uh, name or display name something and also uh, to make uh, these things simple to understand i have created the three different screens once for uh, text box and another one for drop down where i have taken three buttons again not to complicate things so each button i have put one one logic and one button i'll show you how to bound bind the departments to a drop down control another one button i'll show you how we can set the default value or default department to the drop down and then i'll show you another example where one by one the default value will change on the button click and the last button i'll show you how we can clear uh, you know the drop down control on this button click so again this is to make it simple i have used different different buttons on this the final screen i'll show you how we can set the combo box control value on a button click and in this case also i have taken three buttons one to bind the combo box on a button click and then how to set default value and how to clear the uh, drop uh, sorry the combo box and this combo box is a priority column so i have set high low and medium on uh, this kind of things and on the button click i'll show you how to set also so this is the entire demo i'll show you step by step but if you want to learn sharepoint then check out my complete training course which is on sharepoint and power platform and spfx you will get to know everything about this which you require to become a sharepoint developer so now let's go to the system and then i will show you step by step how we can set control values on a button click uh, in a power apps canvas app and this is really really helpful for the beginner if you want to start learning power platform so we'll see here how we can set control value in button click on power app so in a canvas app and uh, these are the three things as i said we'll see text box drop down and combo box values how we can set on button click now without further delay let me uh, go to uh, open my uh, website here so you can see here this is sharepoint site basically i logged in uh, to this uh, there is not no linking on the sharepoint part of it so i'll go to make.powerapps.com which will open the power apps uh, studio now on this i have already created an app and uh, let me go to the apps and uh, on this uh, share with me because i have created with another user and you can see here this is the app uh, that has been created and if you want to know how to create a app from the scratch then i'll put the link in the video description i have a separate video however i have explained how we can build an app uh, canvas app from the scratch itself and if you are a beginner definitely do check those videos as well and now you can see here uh, i'll edit this app so that i can run the app and i'll show you uh, exactly the functionality work and what is the formula that i wrote for each button and uh, the controls right so let it just load uh, just take a couple of seconds then it will load now you can see it here uh, now it has been uh, loaded this app has been loaded and on this i have uh, just to summarize these things i have uh, created an app from the scratch where that means no one data source i have been attached to this here i have done is uh, there is a uh, screen uh, i have added three skins on that one for text box to show the demo on text box the other one is a drop down and uh, the second third one is a, a combo box now the first screen let me first show you run it and show you you can see here now the button message it is showing so greeting and if i'll click on this you can see here it is showing my name with a welcome message and then the label uh, of this button also text is changing to hide greeting and once i click on hide greeting you can see here it is uh, moving so that means you will be able to know how we can uh, assign uh, the values on this button click and in this case i am um, assigning the uh, logged in username so for that what i have done here is uh, on the show greeting uh, if i will just see it here update context for the creating local variable and i have created here two variables display underscore message and i have taken uh, uh, you know not equal to operator of display um, underscore message it will give the exact opposite one and then there is another message a uh, toggle message and what it will do is uh, in the display message what it will be is if not then it will print welcome and uh, user class is there which will give the user details and it will say dot full name then it will give you the logged in user full name and then uh, there is a mark we are giving explanation mark 
and then uh, else empty so you can see here if uh, this will execute else empty right and then uh, if i'll go to uh, the text here text property of the button now you can see here as i said this message is changing so if display message if it is true uh, then it will show uh, you know hide message else show greeting that's a message that we are showing so that the button text will change and then i'll go to the text and uh, here i have just showed the toggle message so toggle message is nothing but uh, the message that we have said on the unselected property which is saying that welcome and the user else it will be empty so that is the reason when you are clicking on first time it is showing the username and the second time it is showing as empty so that's how it is so this is how you can uh, set uh you know the text box control property next one is a drop down and in this case if you look at here then there is a drop down uh, i have taken four buttons on this so that i can show you four different functionality don't worry about the formulas because i'll put the link in this uh, video description so that uh, you know you can uh, check it out uh, like uh, you know uh, what are the code and formulas that i have used and you can also practice the same way now if you look at here there is a drop down uh, and on this uh, by default if you will run it nothing is there and you see here if i click on bind department you can see here the department is bind so for that what i have done here is so if you we'll go to the uh, click on this and again it's a on select property i have created a collection which is called employees and i have taken two columns here department so i have added human resource finance information technology and marketing and there is a serial number where the value is 1 2 3 4 and that i am using on the third button i'll show you that also now on this one uh, basically on the items property you can see here call employees dot department so that is the reason what is happening is uh, whenever you are uh, clicking on this then this is binding from this collection and the column value of department so next in the next one what it is happening is when i'll say default department if i'll click on the second button you can see here the finance is getting selected on this and how we have done it is there is a variable that i have taken uh, set then uh, this is a global variable i have taken here what department and i choose finance on this and in this one if we'll go to the text property you can see here sorry the default property then you can see here bar department is there and that is the reason it is applying here the next one is a uh, set default department one by one so you see here human resource finance information technology marketing you can see here it is changing so what we have done here is as i said while creating the collection for this uh, you know button i have used the serial number so here what we are this is the formula what we are taking here is i can see here var serial number if it is less than 4 then uh, we are setting to plus 1 and else uh, we are doing minus 1 so um, so that it will be always uh, with 1 to 4 and then i am switching this uh, i have used a switch condition based on serial number if it is 1 then we are setting up the var department so var department is a variable i am setting it for human resource finance or information technology or marketing and i have set this bar department on the default property as i shown in the previous uh, button also sorry or the default property of the uh, uh, drop down so you can see here bar department so that is the reason when i am clicking this this is changing and the bar department is setting the current values based on the serial number whatever it is so this is how the second button is working the last one is uh, we are clearing the collection so there is nothing magical here uh, we are just clearing the collection so that the collection because since the collection we bind it to the drop down it is clearing so the values are going up now let me show you the third screen so if i uh, run this you can see here i have taken a combo box and then there is a three buttons i have taken one is bind priority set default priority and clear priority and on this if i'll click on bind then it is you can see here it is binding and if i'll say set default then normal is getting 
populated and if we'll say clear then all the priorities has gone here right so on the bind you can see here i have added a uh, created a collection in this case you can see here with this values on this column and for the default property on this one if you'll go to the on select property here we have created a collection with only normal and that is the reason it is setting up here so if we'll click on this items this one is uh, selected here but if you'll go to the default property default selected items you can see here this is the second collection that we created dot value and that is the reason here as i said normal is coming and the third one you can see here i have just creating both the things um, both the collections and you can see here it is getting empty so this is how you can set control values and i have shown uh, you know three examples on this all the values that we have taken from here in the screen itself uh, some other videos we will see also how we can create this thing by using any data source on this and if you want similar videos then subscribe to the channel uh, so that anytime i'll make videos on this you will get notified on that thank you and have a nice day